Okay, I'm going to share my screen. And we are going to do number 11. together because a lot of people are having a tough time. So here's my paper and I have the actual problem we're going to do. So we need to draw this in full scale. You're, you'll notice that we're in inches right here. And we have our three-dimensional object. We're going to draw this on isometric paper. And we've done a couple of these before but not with dimensions. So the first line that I'm going to be drawing is this width of the object. In order to, for me to get the right width of the object, I need to take a look at my dimensions. And on my paper, I'm going to make sure that I have a top, a front, and a right side view. So in order for me to do that, I'm going to draw my first line 2.75 inches long, or 2 and 3 quarters inches. And I'm going to draw it in this direction so that I can get a nice right side view later on. So let me go to my paper. I'm looking at, I'm going to start at, start about right here. Notice my ruler does, has a zero mark on it. Here's zero. So I need to start and end all my lines there. And the first line I'm going to draw is going to be in this direction parallel with the lines in my page, and I'm going to make it 2.75, so I'm going to start at 2.75 right here, and go to zero. So there's my first line. I'm just going to make it a little bit darker so you guys can see. And there I have my first line, two and three quarter inches long. The next lines I'm going to do, I'm going to draw my depth right away. And I know my depth to be 0.5 inches or one half inch. And I'm going to make sure that that's going in the correct direction. So I'm going to need to turn my paper here just a little bit. But notice how I line up my ruler. My depth is going to be in this direction, meaning it's going to be parallel with the lines around it. Because I don't end on a line, I end kind of right in the middle of one right in the middle of this line and that line right there. When I line my ruler up, I need to make sure that my ruler is then parallel with the lines around it. So I know that I'm parallel to this line back here as well as up here. So I have a half inch line to draw. I'm going to start at half inch and go back to zero. So there I have my depth done. The next lines I'm going to do is my height. I'm going to do both lines, this one and this one. I know how tall those are because if I go all the way over here, I can see that they are one inch tall. So I'm going to line my ruler up vertically with the paper and parallel to the vertical lines on the page. I'm going to line it up at one inch, leaving a little room for my pencil and I'm going to go up to zero. I'm going to do that here as well as right here. This is where it's really important to make sure that my ruler is lined up correctly parallel with the vertical lines on my page. So I almost ended a line here. What I'm going to do is just eyeball the line that comes over. And there I have one side of my drawing already. So I have this base drawn, I have the depth drawn, and then I did two lines of my height, and then I eyeballed this line in right there. So the next ones I'm gonna do is this little platform. This little platform is one inch wide. I know that because I have my, I have my units right up on top. And so I'm going to draw two lines that both an inch long there and there. Our width, again, goes across the paper in this direction, same as our baseline. So I'm going to line my ruler up at one inch, making sure it's parallel with the lines around it that are drawn on the page. I'm going to go from one inch to zero. Same thing right over here, lining up. 
one inch, and then making sure my ruler is parallel with the lines on the page. And then again, I'm going to just eyeball that half inch depth line. So here we have this face done, this face done. The next little one I'm going to do is right here. The small little one, I need to know its height. I already know its depth at half an inch. And its height shows right here. These little lines come on over and they tell me my height is 0.25 inches or a quarter of an inch. So it's a height line, so I'm going to be going straight up and straight down. This one, I'm right on the line. But I'm just going to make sure my ruler is lined up perfectly anyway. Go from 0.25 or a quarter inch on up to zero. Same thing over here. 0.25 on up to zero. And then I'll just eyeball in my depth line. The next little platform I'll do is this one right at the top. Again, a, a half inch depth. And again, one inch long. So again, lining my ruler up from the top to the left and to the bottom of the right direction, right at one, making sure my ruler's parallel with the lines around it from one on over to zero. And again, I'm just going to eyeball this one in there. Now we need to go down that little step again. So that's a quarter inch. I only need to do one of these because this one's hidden over on this side. So I just need to do one. And then I'm going to go the rest of the way over and the rest of the way down. I'm just going to square it off. So I'm going to do these lines right here. This one's a quarter inch. This one, if we look, we had 2.75 on the bottom. We went over one inch over another inch. So we only have 0.75 left. So I'm going to go down a quarter inch over three quarters of an inch. 0.75 is equal to three quarters. My vertical lines line up with the vertical lines on my paper. So I'm going to start at zero this time, lining my ruler up and going down to a quarter of an inch. And then I'm going to go over 0.75 of an inch. Again, that was the rest of our base, and we should line up perfectly, and it looks like we do. I'm just going to eyeball this in nice and light right there. So you can see our shape is, is starting to come up. Um, I'm going to put in my depth line, which was half an inch right here, but I'm just going to make it really light because we have this little rounded edge that we're going to make right in here. And so I'm going to end up erasing this one. That's okay. I just want something to reference. I'm also going to make sure that my, line in, my, that my lines in back line up. So my back should line up from the, from the right side here to the left side. So I don't even need to measure that out. But again, I'm going to make those really, really light. The next things we need to do, make sure we have these two circles drawn, one right here, and then I have a quarter round. We call that a quarter round circle over here because the rest of the circle, three quarters of it, is gone. So what I'm going to do is locate the center of this circle first because I can't start to draw it if I don't locate where it is first. So where I find it is 1.25 inches from this left-hand side and then 0.75, three quarters of an inch up. So I'm going to do this 0.75 first, show you guys how I go about doing that. I'm going to make a mark, 0.75 here, I'm going to make a mark over here, and then I'm going to draw a faint construction line. 
So I have making sure my ruler is parallel with the lines in the page. I'm going to make a mark at zero after lining up to 0 0.75. And again, I'm going to make a mark at zero after lining up with 0.75. From here, I'm going to line up my ruler with the two marks I made and draw a faint line across. I draw it faintly because it's not going to be part of our object, but it helps us locate the center of our circle. So now the next one I need to draw is this 1.25 inches from the left-hand side. So I'm going to line up with zero at the left-hand side and then go to one and a quarter inches right here. Now I could do the same thing on top, but it's a little hard because I have nothing to reference up here. So instead what I'm going to do is just lining my ruler up with that point and then making sure it's parallel with the lines around it on the page. I'm going to draw again a faint little line up. And here we find the center of our circle. And I'm going to make that real dark just so we have a nice center line right there. Now in order to make the circle, I need to know how big the circle is. And I have my dimension right here. It's at 0.5 inches in diameter, which meaning I need to have a point right here, a point right here, a point right here, and a point right here that are half of that, the radius, meaning a quarter of an inch away from the center line that I just made. So what I'm going to do is line up my center line on the quarter inch mark, and I'm going to put a little dot at half an inch and a little dot at zero. So I have, I'm just going to make those a little darker so you can see them. Two dots right there, and then going to do the same thing going up. Line it up with a quarter of an inch. Put a dot on top at zero, and then a dot below at half an inch. So here I have my four dots, and now I'm just going to eyeball in my circle. Knowing it's not going to look like a regular circle, it's going to kind of look like an ellipse, but that's okay. Because circles drawn on a slant don't look exactly like a circle. They look like an ellipse. So here now my circle, it's not perfect, but it does look like it fits right on the face of that object. And that's what we were going for. The next thing we're going to do is draw this little... Uh, this little fillet on the side. And I'm going to find first, again, the center of my circle. Here it tells us we have a radius of 0.25 inches or, or a quarter inch. Same thing as a diameter of 0.5 inches. So notice uh, this line right here and this line right here are tangent to my circle so that my circle does not come back around, but it is cut off at, this, at, at these spots. So up from the center is 0.25 inches, or that same three-quarter inch line that we drew from our bottom from before. And then again, we have a quarter inch over from the left-hand side that we're going to have to measure out ourselves. So I'm going to go on our line, line up our little dot from before from our construction line at zero, and then make a mark on our construction line at 0.25 inches, and there I just got the center of my circle. I'm going to make a nice little center mark here. And then we know that we have 0.25 inches here, 0.25 inches there. So I'm just going to eyeball in that part of the circle, and I can erase those lines that I drew before. So from here, I'm going to make a mark that is tangent to that circle, but in the direction of our depth, which was on these lines from before. You'll notice this is our depth, and it used, and it used these construction lines on our paper. So I'm going to do the same thing here, but I'm just going to make a tangent to our circle. Tangent meaning it's only going to touch one place on our circle. So I think I'm lined up right there. 
you know, make my mark nice and heavy. It's is not a construction line anymore. And there you can see I finished off our part. 